Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, we are going to be throwing these packs from different levels, and I'm going to show you why, because we are up... I'm never usually on these type of levels, and we're going to be opening up some packs, but we're going to be throwing them off the roof. Alright guys, so we're going to drop these, and it's very echoey, so we're going to drop these from here, straight down. That's about six floors and it's going to be interesting because I want to see if any of these actually survive or make the bottom. So let's have a look. Alright, we're going to try dropping this Darkness of Blaze pack. Down the stairs. Uh, it landed on that floor there. Let's go see. So after going down off the stairs, we have found it. We have ended up on the second floor. I don't know if that's good enough, but we'll try again. I've decided to throw them all at once, so let's give it a go. Hey, one made it! You can see the one just at the bottom, right there. So there's our first little victim. Oh, there's the second victim. The Sun and Moon base. There's our third victim. So where did we get to? We got to the first floor with vivid voltage. And the other ones were the second floor. And then that one got to the bottom. So the darkness ablaze one made it to the bottom, the only one. All right guys, so we are back in the studio, back at my house. Look at these. So we got the four packs. So this is the one that we dropped first, which is the Sizzly Peter pack. And if we can check out this pack, the booster pack looks relatively fine. I can't really see any dings, at, unlike the other ones. But yeah, that one looks relatively fine. We'll check out this one. We picked up this one a second, as well as everything. It kind of looks like nothing is wrong with it at this moment in time. The Celebi Vivid Voltage one also looks like it's in a perfect condition. And then this one, this one's the interesting one. So we'll try and get it on camera, but you guys can see that there's like an indent there and there's a couple of like scratches and stuff. But yeah, this one is actually damaged. That's the one that was at the very bottom. We ended up dropping this one twice actually. So this one kind of went through the most abuse, but we're going to get into these, see what the damage is and we'll see how we do. Maybe this is the new way to get ultra rares by dropping them off the building. So let's get into these ones. Put that one off to the side, and we have four to the front, and let's go. So let's see if we can get anything decent in this pack, but we have that Metal Energy, a Poopatar. These ones look pretty good on the front. We have a Fletchender, a Kufant, Steeny, a Phoebus, Parsimian, a Fletchling, a Marini Reverse Holo, and a Houndoom V. Very, very nice. This one looks like it is in good condition. Very, very nice. No really edge wear or much of like that. There's nothing really, like there's no corners that are really damaged on these cars, but yeah, not bad at all. We got a Houndoom, which is pretty darn sweet. So we'll put that one at the back. Let's go into the next pack. So this one, it really looks fine. There's nothing really wrong with it at all. You guys can see the kind of the glare on the front. Maybe a little bit there, right there. You guys can see that right there on her neck. But other than that, nothing really crazy. And we'll get the code cut off to the side. So just the initial look at these, it looks all right. Maybe a few dings up in around the corner up there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that one. So see the corners and the dings in the middle like there. You can kind of see a couple. All the corners are kind of crumpled. Same with the other side. Very, very mi minor damage there as well. You guys can see that. But yeah, other than that, let's let's have a look, see what we can get out of this one. Hopefully no Ultra Balls or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, the front, it's really hard to tell on the fronts. But yeah, on the back, it's like pretty easy to tell because they're all the same color. Kitty Fly, Reverse Hollow, and A2 Cannon. So yeah, not, not too bad. A little bit of edge wear, honestly. And then yeah, that little damage point there. So not too bad at all, actually. Pretty decent. Let's go with Vivid Voltage. This one went the second to last furtherest. And we'll just have a look over that pack art. It looks pretty, pretty sweet. 
not really any any damage on the front or really that I can tell on the back but we will see what we can get out of this pack we'll put that one off to the side and we will go four to the front just I've already done the code or the card trick but yeah we'll just check out the tops these ones look really really mint it really looks fine I'm not really seeing any damage points on the back it looks pretty no dents or anything yeah not too bad but we'll see what we can get out of this one we have a energy a cramoran a drone rotom i don't think i've seen that one yet a waymar a swoobat weedle a beldum fampy a duskull a coating energy reverse holo and a tornadoes holo foil very very nice not bad at all we had tornadoes which looks like not gonna lie it looks really really nice so yeah, nothing is wrong with that card at all. Just checking over it one, one last time. But yeah, that looks pretty pretty darn nice to me. But yeah, we'll go to the last pack, which is definitely the damage pack. As you guys can see there, that's a bit better. You guys can see that there, that there on the corner. Maybe on, yeah, a little bit there. This one did hit the railing twice, as well as it got dropped right to the bottom, straight on its face. Can't really see too much wrong with the back of that. But yeah, can we get maybe a Charizard in this one? Maybe. Who knows? But we'll go four to the front and then we'll check out the back of these ones. If we can kind of have a look. Maybe the corners up here. But other than that, yeah, no, they look pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn nice. So let's see what we can get out of this one. Maybe it was just the pack that was damaged. Maybe it was damaged beforehand. Maybe it was just the pack. I don't see any like f uh, visible... I don't know, visible dints in any of the cards or anything like that. But yeah, we have a Rowlet, a Wishy Washy, a Perchurchin, Rare Reverse Holo, very, very nice, and a Darmanitan. Very, very nice. I haven't seen that one either. What? That's so cool. I haven't actually seen that one yet. But anyways, we did end up with that Houndoom V and that Tornadoes Holo Foil. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys aren't new, and I will see you guys in my next Pokemon video. Peace out, guys.